Well, good morning and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Blair Lamb. I post about all kinds of things on my channel. Today we are doing a crafting for Easter basket gift video. Not sure exactly how I'm gonna entitle this yet, but this video is sponsored by Cricut. So thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I am super excited because we have five families in our neighborhood that we spend lots and lots of time with. And so we are going to today make each one of them a little family Easter basket that we are going to drop off. My kids and I will drop off probably this afternoon um, on each of their doorsteps. And it will just be like, we love you. Let's celebrate Easter together. We're so glad that we are friends and neighbors and uh, we just appreciate them so much and anytime that I can do something to really show how much we love them and appreciate them, I will always you know, want to do that. So I've been gathering things for the past few days, about a week or so. I've just been picking up small things here and there. So like right within the reach, I got like little chocolate bunnies for each one of them. I have some cookies, I have jelly beans and Easter eggs. And I have been so busy crafting with my Cricut for this Easter basket. I've used my Cricut for every celebration since I got it, starting with my kid's joint birthday party last October. And then I've used it for various things over the holiday season and into this new year. It's just so much fun. It can do so many things. Like today I'm gonna show you how I made stickers with it, greeting cards with it, vinyl cut out, you know, custom with it. It's just so good for handmade gifts and I really, really enjoy using it. The software is really easy to use. It's called Cricut Design Space. It's just easy um, and I enjoy it so much. I find it so relaxing. So let's get to making these Easter baskets for my sweet friends. Okay, I'm sorry for the kind of weird angle, but I'm just trying to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. So I have, like I said, five of these Easter buckets and then yesterday I cut out um, the last name of each of my friend's families to put on these little buckets. I thought that would be cute. In the future, they can use them for maybe holding Easter eggs when they're gonna go do like an Easter egg hunt or something. I thought that would be cute for them. So I have the five family last names here. I have the transfer tape here and my scissors. So this, um, I believe that this font is called spring break which i thought was cute given what you know it's kind of springy and eastery so what i'm going to do is just cut out some transfer tape and uh this is what is going to pick up the vinyl so the sticky side is on the back so that i can apply it onto these if that makes sense so this one actually is too big for that little last name, let's do a longer last name. There's a couple little fuzzies, get rid of them. I still have a slight cold, you might be able to hear it in my voice. I feel like I have had a slight cold for approximately six to eight weeks. Anybody else? It started off as allergies and then it's just continued and continued. This is such a funny angle. Um, okay, so now the vinyl is affixed to the transfer tape. And so I'm just gonna slowly and carefully pull it off and make sure that all the letters, now this is permanent so it's pretty sticky so sometimes it takes a little extra. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm just gonna take this Easter bucket basket thing and I'm not gonna be too, um, finicky with it. I'm just going to find the general middle. And place it. This little thing is so nice. And then you just pull the transfer tape off. And you have such a cute personalized little bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed through the footage and do the rest of these.
Okay, now that all of the buckets are labeled, what I'm gonna do is put some of this straw grass into each of the buckets, kind of as the base, just to give it like a little something there at the bottom. So I'm gonna move my tripod out of the way. <clears throat> I just got this green Easter grass. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dump it in kind of fluff it out. Oh, that's cute. That's extremely cute. When I was growing up, our Easter's were always the same. <clears throat> we would wake up and the Easter bunny would have left a um, uh, an egg shaped, a, paper, a piece of paper cut out like an egg with a certain color on the background. So like, it would be like a, a purple egg. It was printed off the computer. And then typed on it, it would say Blair. And then it would say my first clue. And then my siblings each had one as well. And theirs would be different colors with their different clues. And we would, before we went to church right in the morning, we would race around the house trying to find our Easter basket but it was tricky and those clues were tricky and they were, it wasn't like look under the piano bench. It would be like a little rhyme. It would be like, look where you make music and did, 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 whatever. And you had to like go and find it. And then the Easter baskets would always be in some wild place. Like I remember climbing into the depths of our crawl space one time, um, attic, in the vehicles outside, in the shed outside, like we had to work for it. Um, and it was super, super fun. So that's what we always did. And then we would get all dressed up and go to a beautiful church service in the morning. Okay, that was all five of them. Um, put a pin in that story. I'm going to take these treat bags. I thought they were super cute. And I got these super cute chick and, are they all chick? No, chicks and eggs, just like Easter. Um, sugar cookies, I got three of them to divide among the five in these bags. I thought that that would be cute. When I bought the bags, I thought, oh, I'll make something. And then this week has been pretty busy. So instead, I purchased them. So back to my childhood Easter's, which bring back really sweet memories. Um, and then we would get all dressed up and we would go to church and um, then we would go, most of my childhood, we went over to my paternal grandmother and grandfather's house, Mimi and Poppy. And I just washed my hands. And, um, and we would have a big Easter hunt, Easter egg hunt with all of my siblings. And my Mimi would hide, um, I can't remember if it was the green eggs or the gold eggs. I'm not gonna tie them off just to make sure they're evenly distributed and then once they are, I will tie them off. But one of the two, I feel like it was the golden eggs had money in them. And I mean, it was like a dollar, I think. But we would truly fight. The five of my cousins on that side, I'm one of them, so five total of us, we would be like racing around her yard in our Easter clothes, trying to get all the Easter eggs picked up and find the golden ones and, um, it was really, really fun. And then we would go inside and we would have a big Easter meal with like a ham. Um, I don't know what else we had, but I, I know we had ham. I feel like we had Waldorf salad. Does anybody else know Waldorf salad? That was like a big, um, I did not need to get three of these tubs of cookies because, well, I guess I'll just give out more. I'll save the cracked ones at the bottom for my kids to enjoy. They will love that. So anyway, we would collect all the eggs, we would um, get the money ones, and we would each go home with a dollar, and we would eat our ham and um, hang out for a while. And then in the evening, we would go back home, and I think that was pretty much our Easter. I always loved Easter because it was, first of all, like the beginning of 
really like in Maryland where I grew up, it was like usually a little chilly still, but it was kind of the kickoff to spring weather most of the time, which I really, really liked. And um, it was just like a family day. It wasn't like heavy on gifts, which, you know, as a kid, kids love receiving gifts, but it was just fun. Like we spent a lot of the time outside. I remember it being a big deal to buy um, your Easter outfit. I loved buying, getting, like choosing my Easter dress or whatever. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can definitely go heavier on. Right now they're like a quarter full. They can each be half full because I still have quite a bit left. Um, but yeah, I have really good Easter memories. It was always really fun to do the Easter egg hunt. Um, not really Easter egg. Well, that was fun too, but like the Easter basket hunt in the morning. And as our kids get older, I hope that we can do the same. Um, right now, I think, actually this year, my sister is a saint. So we are traveling for Easter this year and um, flying across the country back home to Maryland where I'm from. And she called me last week and said, why don't I just do your kids Easter baskets um, so that you don't have to worry about trying to either order things and have them sent or travel with things or whatever. And I thought, best sister in the world. So she did and I am so, so, so appreciative of that. Okay, so we have these little ties but you know what? I think I have some blue ribbon. So I'm gonna go get, get my ribbon and then we'll tie them up. And they ended up being, this is pretty a pretty hefty serving. I'm happy about that. Got it. <clears throat> so our plans for Easter this year are pretty much the same except for um, my grandmother isn't able to host anything anymore. So my parents are hosting at their house um, but my sister is going to be in town and we are obviously going to be in town. So it'll actually be really nice. We'll be like a family Easter and then my, the same side of the family that we celebrated with growing up will be there. My paternal aunt and uncle and cousins and uh, grandparents. And my cousin just got engaged. So I will, I have not met her fiance. Um, so I will get to meet her fiance, which is so exciting. And they just set a date for next year. So all great things going on in our family right now. Um, very much looking forward to it. All right, so we have all the cookies done. Next up, I'm going to stuff some uh, eggs. So I got a set of these six eggs for each family. And there's two of the families that have two girls and no other children. So I got those, these ones that have like more girly colors. And then for the ones that have a mix of boys and girls or just boys, I got these colors. I need a sip of coffee. Okay. So I have M&Ms that are prepackaged and then jelly beans that are prepackaged. When I was growing up, the food, oh, these are so cute. In my um, in my Easter baskets growing up or like during the Easter egg hunt, nothing was ever packaged. It was just like some jelly beans in there just like among the whatever dust was had accumulated in the egg from being in the attic for the past year. But I figured since I'm giving these as gifts, <laughs> if, I, if I were receiving them as gifts, even though I trust my friends implicitly, I would feel better about letting my kids eat it if it was in a package. So... That's what we're gonna do. Just trying to be a thoughtful gift giver here. Here are the other things that are gonna go in these baskets. I think it's gonna fill them out nicely. So each family will get a bubble stick. And then I made these cards on the Cricut yesterday and I made a couple, I think I made, yeah, three in purple and two in pink. I think they're so, so cute. I also made these little sticker sheets on the Cricut, like holographic stickers with all these little spring things. I thought they were so cute. I made an extra one for myself and put it on my phone. Like so stinking cute for the springtime. 
And uh, then I got each family a chocolate bunny and then each family this book, which is the story of Easter. And it's like a great book, theologically sound and just really, really cool. I love the illustrations and stuff, love it. So they'll all get one of each of these things. I am having to get very creative with these <laughs> camera angles. I want you to be able to see everything at once. Okay, so we're gonna start with this family and get everything all set up. So let's put the book. Let's get a bubble wand for them. And a chocolate bunny. And a sheet of stickers. The kids will think that is so fun. Maybe I'll set this over here. So these stickers, I'll show you some footage of making them yesterday, are so easy. In the Cricut Design Space, you can just make your own custom stickers. So you could make pictures of your kids' faces, or I've seen people make pictures of all of their loved ones' faces and then use them in their planner or on their calendar for birthdays. Um, but I just searched in Cricut Design Space like spring sticker sheet, and this came up. And I thought it was so perfect and cute. Um, oh, this is the perfect amount of stuff. Let's move these eggs out of the way and put these in first. And so they were just so easy. And then you just cut them all out and they just turn out so, so cute. I'm gonna put one of these under here. How cute is that? That is so cute and fun. Let me move the handle and then put the bubble wand in. Obsessed with that. I'm gonna do all of these and then I'm going to um, write the cards. Okay, like how stinking cute are these? Adorable. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make the, well not make, I'm gonna write on these cards. So I took some footage yesterday of making these. There is this really cool card maker that is um, built for the Cricut and you basically just slide the card inside and there's a huge library of different designs to choose from and then you just click go, it's really, really quick. And then these, these little card sets come with this folding card and then an insert card. So I used these holographic ones, I thought they were fun for Easter. And you just, it automatically cuts these little corners, you just slide it in and you're done. So really easy, like love, love, love. So I'm just gonna write each of them a little note telling them we love them, we hope they have a wonderful Easter. And then I'm gonna pop them in there and then we will be finished with this cute little craft. Here they are. I just slid the cards kind of in the back there so they don't take away from all the cuteness up front. But I think these turned out really, really sweet. I was worried that I would have too much or too little to fill the baskets, but actually this per was just perfect. I am glad I did some of the green down at the bottom, that grass, because it lifted everything up a little bit more and kind of made it a little more aesthetic. But I think they turned out really, really adorable and I can't wait to drop them off. Okay, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. I, once again, just want to reiterate how much I truly and deeply love my Cricut. I feel like every mom should go home from the hospital <laughs> with one because I use it all the time for labeling my kids' stuff, for making crafts for different holidays that are coming up. It's just really nice to have the ability to make such a wide variety from clothing to stickers to vinyl decals to cards to banners to <laughs> just anything you can really think of at my fingertips, to be able to make all that at home is really, really nice. It is just such a worthwhile investment. If you are interested, I will leave links to everything below so that you can check it out. But if you're a crafty mom or you kind of want to be, but you don't want to have to do everything yourself, the Cricut is like the best crafting companion. It is so, I really, really enjoy it. So I'm excited to drop these off on our friend's doorsteps this afternoon. I'm sure they will be very 
excited and their kids will be excited to have a little goodie basket before, you know, a couple of days before Easter. Thank you so much for watching this video and for following along. I have a lot more videos to come. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know about your Easter's growing up. If you celebrate, what was that like growing up and are you doing it similarly or differently now if you have your own family? I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.